Today, I'm gonna show you how to sterilize your face masks at home with this. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I just picked this up. It's by Hot Gear, which is also a term that you could use to describe me. But it, in fact, describes this little oven here. And this little oven, while it can have a lot of different functions, the one I want to show you right now today, because it's super relevant, is how you use this to sanitize your gear at home. Things like face masks, for example, or gloves, those types of things, you know, PPE. But there are probably a lot of other things that you want to sanitize too, you know, from your car keys to your wallet to maybe those little keychain-like tools that you use to pull open doors. You can do all of that. But I want to just quickly unbox this here and then show you how it works because it's an ingenious little device. And I am also kind of curious if I can use it for other things. So stay tuned for other videos. We have a little tray here which will go into the sterilizer oven. So this little metal tray here. Also, we get the user manual, which I will have to read through. And then we get the oven itself. Now, I will tell you that as I picked up the box, this whole thing here is actually pretty light. It was much lighter than I expected. So it's not a big, heavy piece that you have to have a couple people move around. It will fit pretty much anywhere. Obviously, you could keep this somewhere handy like your kitchen or even your workbench or garage, those types of things. It says that it gets hot right here on the top. You know, sheet metal construction, and it's about the size of a standard toaster oven. And like I said, nice and light. So on the back here, we have a cord. Looks like it's about five feet, three prong grounded outlet. I also like that we have a couple bumpers on the back. So if you are pushing this up against a wall, you don't have to worry about it touching drywall or paint or something like that and getting that lit on fire and on the front we have the little control panel which is going to be very simple this little glass door here i assume that's like tempered and then we have a nice little handle here so you can see everything that's going on and open it up without burning your hands we also have a little removable steel grade tray but what that's going to do is it's going to allow you to have this tray hover in there so you can get heat above and below it now I just want to go ahead and get this plugged in and show you how this control panel works. All right, I've got this plugged in. Nice bright display right here. And I will say that the temperature here is in Celsius. So you're gonna to have to do a little conversion. If you need a conversion chart, it is actually printed right there. So you can see that 70 degrees Celsius is 158 degrees Fahrenheit. I bring that up because 70 degrees Celsius is kind of a magic temperature as far as I know for sterilizing things. Now, what you wanna do here to turn this on and to set the temperature is use the start button. It's also a toggle for power. So what you wanna do here is hold the start button down for a few seconds. And now what it's gonna do is it's going to start going through temperatures five degrees at a time for two seconds. Now I want 70 degrees, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit that. So now it's set to 70 degrees and I am going to just hit start to go ahead and start baking it. Now this always, as far as I know, will go to a 30 minute cook time. So it'll heat things for 30 minutes and then it will start to cool down. You'll actually get a beep when it starts cooling down. So I could start putting stuff in here right away, which is what I'm gonna do. Now, there are lots of things that you probably wanna sterilize and you're gonna put them on this tray here. And the reason it makes sense to sterilize them in something like this is because there isn't really an easy way to sterilize a lot of stuff. You know, for our laundry, it goes into a laundry machine and then there's soap and detergent and bleach and then it gets heated up in the dryer. So those types of things get sterilized pretty easily or countertops, you can do those with cleaner. But for a lot of things, let's call it like a paper mask. This is not gonna be something that's gonna be easy to sterilize. And you also wanna be careful. I take no responsibility for anything that catches on fire. So make sure that those temperatures are always checked. You know, maybe you have a cloth mask. Some of these can go in the washing machine. This one actually has a little metal rod right here for shape. And so I've never done that because I'm not sure what that's made out of. And I thought, well, maybe that will cause it to rust. I don't want that. How about these paper N95 masks? You can get some life out of these by making sure those are nice and baked. Even your car keys, probably not an easy thing to go ahead and get sterilized, but you can put those right there for sure. How about your wallet and your Blockbuster card? You don't want to melt your credit cards, but if you do want your wallet cleaned, you know, maybe you carry a pair of scissors. That's something that doesn't make sense to throw in your dishwasher. 
How about your EDC? Maybe your tactical pocket folding knife, right? And then for most of us also, we carry an emergency golf ball just in case golf breaks out. So a lot of these things don't have really easy ways to sterilize otherwise. So what I'm gonna do here is just go ahead and now put this all in the oven here. And then we will just let that sucker bake for that 30 minutes and let it get sterilized. Now I brought up that 70 degrees because 70 degrees Fahrenheit is a number that is cited by a number of things. I was actually looking at posts from Columbia and then I saw some resources from the CDC as well as some other shared resources. And a lot of these say, especially in the world of COVID-19, that 70 degrees at 30 to 40 or 50 minutes is enough to neutralize that virus, but it doesn't have to be just that. Maybe you're worried about influenza. Maybe you're immunocompromised. Maybe you're someone who just likes to take the extra precautionary measures. For a lot of us, it's not just those types of things, it's germs. You know, for face masks that you may be using as a household, you can get the little spittle in there. Maybe you just wanna dry out that type of stuff. Maybe you wanna make sure that any of those germs in there get removed. Maybe it's the smell of masks that you've been wearing for a while. There can be a number of things. You can actually put your cell phone in here too. Now you can use UV light on a cell phone as well, but in here it says to actually use pretty much the lowest temperature setting, which is 56 degrees Celsius, which is 133 degrees Fahrenheit, and to only bake it for the 30 minutes. You also wanna turn off your cell phone because your cell phone, when it's on, is producing its own heat. So you don't want any of that. Turn off the cell phone, put it in there, and after the 30 minutes are up, you wanna pull that sucker out right away. So you do not want it to be in there any longer than you need to. However, with a cell phone, to be honest, I would probably use a sterilizing wipe and just kind of wipe it down. But this seems to be a really easy way to sterilize a bunch of stuff that may not be easy to sterilize. So we'll wait 30 minutes and check it out. All right, it's actually been almost an hour. So after 30 minutes, it goes off. Um, it actually starts its cool down process. I unplugged it. I still think I can still feel just a little bit of residual heat, but it's not hot to touch at the moment. So I can just kind of pull this out. But what I really love about this is that it's kind of easy peasy and you don't really have to think about it. And here's all my stuff. Now I was actually worried about things like the plastic handle here melting. It doesn't seem to have done any of that. I don't see any sort of deformation on that. You can see the little side grips on the knife there seem to be just fine. Even the little plastic cover on my key, that seems fine. And again, you know, there's a battery and stuff in there. So, you know, use it at your own risk. Wallet, nice and toasty. My money is dried out because usually uh, this is all soaked because I carry it in my mouth a lot. My masks here seem nice and dry. And this mask here smells pretty good. Kind of baked. And even the paper mask, again, no flame, nothing burned up. Now, this golf ball here should not be in these high temperatures, so this golf ball is probably cooked. So don't do that with your TPX 5X. But I did, because I'm a rebel. Hey, I love this little oven because it is really set up for sanitizing things specifically. Obviously, face masks, face masks, face masks are the top concern for a lot of people. And this is set up to be dedicated to that type of sanitization. You pick the temperature, again, 70 degrees Celsius, I think is the one you're gonna generally want for most things. And then it is really just set up to rock and roll. It's kind of set it and forget it. And you're not repurposing a toaster oven or something like that where, heck, it might cook too long, it might catch on fire, it might really burn something down. So I really love the fact that this is kind of a dedicated piece for this. And it's not just for right now. Maybe you work in an environment where you can just transmit a lot of germs or diseases. Maybe you work in a school or in a restaurant. It doesn't really matter. You know, this can help keep a lot of your gear fresh and sanitary to keep you safe. And it's not expensive. So if you want to pick this sucker up, I'll put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out.